Spain's atrocity-spangled civil war burns and butchers into its ninth week. Already it's estimated that 25,000 have been killed, but less than half of those have died on a battlefield. Night after night, all over Spain, men are torn from their weeping families, lined up and shot. Scores of cities, towns and villages have been bombarded and burnt. More than 200 churches have gone up in flames. And yet both sides, both the president and the two opposition leaders, claim to be fighting for the good of Spain. Perhaps the most desperate and cruel conflict of the war so far has been round Badajoz on the Portuguese frontier, the city that once cost the Duke of Wellington 5,000 men when he stormed it in the Peninsular War. For days the insurgents have been bombarding the government troops within the walls, until at last the city falls and within less than 30 hours our cameramen are there. A last government plane that tries to bomb the insurgents is brought down in the streets, and General Franco claims another victory in the Spain that is a sore festering from Morocco to the Pyrenees. 